Hi guys, Cletus here and welcome to Get Out. Today, I'm out here with Simba and we are gonna take a look at the Rocky Spring Nature Trail right out here in Mode, Illinois. And it is part of the Hidden Springs State Park trail system. So let's get a look, see what's out here today. Might even see a mushroom or two. And the Rocky Springs National Trail, or the Rocky Springs Trail, is actually a three and a half mile trail and uh, according to a lot of the sites um, that talk about it, it says it's just a two and a half mile trail so keep that in mind if you plan on coming out to the rocky springs trail the underbrush seems to be very grown up but we are in the middle of may the beginning of spring and it is time for that to happen As you can see, it is very nice and calm out here. And I would definitely recommend this trail for anyone that was looking for just a nice brisk exercise. You don't want to get in a bunch of weeds and things like that. They've got the trail nice and clear. Looks like it's going to get muddy in sections, but hey, we just had a recent rain, so that's to be expected. Look at this gargantuan tree all those burls popping off of him i think that's yep i believe that's going to make today's funky tree of the day right there simba loves his trails and he is doing a great job at staying close not running off on his own. So far he hasn't seen anything to chase. So, haven't lost him yet. So you can see a lot of the trees they have fell because this is part of a woodland project they are doing right now. And uh, trying to keep this clear, increase habitat and growth of certain types of trees. Oh yeah, sounds of the forest. like we've got a log jam here creating some neat little pools out in the center cutting the riverbank out a little wider through this section neat stuff now it's not very often that I actually see two funky trees but this one here caught my attention as well because it is not a spruce or a pine but it sure looked like it whenever you first started walking up to it definitely dead seen some better days and so right around here we have a lot of what you see here these little green plants which i believe are virginia stick seed and of course what happens when they start to bloom is they have a little bitty stem of white balls actually it's starting right here and of course they'll start sticking to your clothing it's very hard to get off but uh neat little little plants there little flowers like that just cling right to you growing right out of the top of the virginia stick seed and what do you see here climbing right up this tree there's a big old white oak right here and a lot of people actually mistake this for poison ivy but this is five leaved and it is the virginia creeper why so many virginian plants here in strasburg illinois that is the question and this guy right here this is the common bush honeysuckle 
as you can see the little white flowers that it produces here they have a very sweet smell and they attract butterflies so if you like uh, butterflies honeysuckle would be a nice plant to add to your garden and here we see just a ton of this covering the forest floor through here and these little bitty guys like this these are called chickweed and the reason it's called chickweed is because chickens love to eat it but the chickens aren't alone small forest animals like squirrels and things like that like to eat it too and there's obviously plenty of it here it says you can even possibly prepare chickweed to use as like a spinach or something like that and it would only be harmful if you did it in huge quantities so if you want a little side of chickweed put that next to your salad beautiful purple flowers growing wild in the forest but what are they these are actually called the wild blue flocks or the Louisiana flocks and it is uh, actually can be used as a as an herb it's an herb type plant but uh, looks more purple than blue right Simba don't be eating the flocks buddy so this guy is a very very common plant that you'll see growing in fields and forests all across the eastern United States and central United States it's actually um, called butterweed and uh, the reason is because of the yellow butterish looking like flowers that you see on top here but it is toxic to humans so you don't want to eat this one ah and here's more butterweed as you can see it is very evasive and a lot of people don't like it of course in their gardens and flower beds because it competes for the resources that your flowers need so it's best just to get rid of it if you can now we've all seen these before and this is what we call the may apple because you've got this little bud that it produces that over its bloom time appears to be similar to an apple tree when it's blooming now over the summer this will create a little fruit off of that and once that fruit is ripened it can actually be used for jellies and jams but all the other parts of the plant are uh, can cause sickness and even the unripened fruit can cause sickness so if you ever plan on making jam or jelly from a may apple be sure that it is fully ripened before you do so and of course this beautiful little flower here that you see appearing in meadows and trails all over So what I was saying about the Philadelphia flea bane is over time it can be toxic to animals. It's mildly toxic, so if they are continually ingesting it, it could hurt them. So try to keep them away from the Philadelphia flea bane. I love walking through the pine forest. Just listen to this wind. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had a good time learning about some of the species of plants that are here in Illinois. We certainly appreciate it, you coming along with us. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. For more great biking, hiking, and kayaking videos, please click right down here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel right up here. We'll see you next time.